Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Chris Moore, a registered dietitian, and today we're going to talk to you about, about optimizing recovery for the athletes you're working with and, and how that affects ultimately their performance. I'll talk about some of the research that's been done in this area um, from a scientific standpoint, but then also from a practical standpoint. Um, for me personally, as a dietitian, a sports dietitian, um, I've worked with a number of athletes, um, from professional football players to those at the collegiate level, um, and many others in between. So, you know, when we look at nutrition and we think about nutrition as a whole, one of the hottest topics in sports nutrition in particular for athletes is looking at this recovery nutrition or, and, and how, do we, how do we maximize that period of time so the athletes can be better at performance and recover as quickly as they can for the next game, next performance, et cetera. Now, what, 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 taking a kind of a big picture look at this, what, what is recovery? Well, when we look at this, we have these, this stored energy in our muscles called glycogen. And recovery needs to take that into account because when you exercise, you use that stored energy. And we also have certainly electrolytes. You've surely heard of those, you know, what you lose in your sweat, sodium, potassium, et cetera. That's really important to make sure that we're rehydrating with fluids, but then also electrolytes as well, replenishment. Um, and then also a piece that people often forget about, it's not just about muscles and then replacing those electrolytes, it's also about a mental recovery. Um, and this is, these are all important pieces to the overall puzzle when we're looking at how do we get our athletes to recover faster, to be bigger, stronger, faster, and be able to perform at their peak. Of course, certainly on the day of performance, but then also in practice and training is key as well. So when we look at recovery nutrition and we think about the importance of recovery nutrition, recovery can help athletes avoid injuries and certainly feel their best so they can stick to their training routines. That might be multiple times a day. I know working with some of the professional uh, NFL players I, I've worked with, that was often two, sometimes three training sessions a day, whether it was the weight room, on the field, um, even just some kind of, some type of recovery type training, they were all still essentially moving their bodies and need to focus on the nutrition piece to the puzzle as well so they can be better prepared for their next performance. Now, when we look at considerations for recovery, a few different pieces to this puzzle. One, we can look at food versus beverage. Okay, certainly we can get the same similar nutrition from both, but uh, we'll look at a few different uh, research studies that have been done looking at some of the options. I'm looking at certainly the carbohydrates to replace that glycogen I mentioned, but then also protein. You know, certainly you break down muscle when you train. Protein helps build, repair, and helps you recover. We can't get away from the convenience and certainly the affordability. Uh, if it's not convenient, in my experience, athletes are not going to do it. So what is convenient? What will they most likely use? Um, taste and tolerance. You know, of course, if it doesn't taste good, no one's going to be interested in it. Um, and then certainly the intensity of the workout and, and then the timing is really, really important. If someone's going out for a 20-minute you know, walk, they don't necessarily need to think about recovery nutrition. On the flip side, if they're on the field, they're performing, they're training, they're in the weight room, they're working hard, recovery nutrition certainly needs to be a part of that, that picture. So we need to look at what are the right options and combinations for each athlete. Now, here's some different snack ideas and post-workout snack ideas. A lot of different options here. Um, you know, it could be as simple as a piece of fruit, as you see, and, and maybe some, some cheese or, or, or nut butter or peanut butter, something like that. It gives you a little bit of a combination of, of carbohydrate and then also some protein. Um, you can see a sandwich on whole wheat bread, a tuna sandwich, a turkey sandwich. Um, you know, one thing that I really like highlighting that the last bullet and the, and the last image on the right is chocolate milk as well. You know, in the last slide, I, I talked about rehydration and electrolytes um, and then certainly protein and carbohydrates. Well, the nice thing about something liquid like chocolate milk is, one, it helps hydrate you. Uh, two, it provides carbohydrates and also protein and then some of those electrolytes as well. So it's convenient, it provides what the body needs, um, and nine times out of 10, if not more than that, most athletes enjoy the flavor. So let's take a closer look at chocolate milk and some of the research that's been done with chocolate milk as a recovery beverage. So one, it's backed by science. And for me, you know, as someone with a PhD, so certainly with a research background, this is important to me, uh, because as you know, there's a lot out there 
uh, that isn't necessarily backed by science, but certainly is pushed regularly. To me, that dietary supplements come to mind. There's over 55,000 of them. So chocolate milk, though, you know, research, researchers first began studying chocolate milk because it had the same carbohydrate and protein ratio that was backed by science. And some of those studies started to emerge, and then some smart folks thought, hmm, there's a really convenient option that's available. It's not a supplement. It's not something fancy or expensive, but it tastes great, and it has what these athletes need. And what we're starting to show has been useful in research. Um, so we know, you know, on a practical standpoint, for years athletes have grabbed chocolate milk after a workout. Um, and very often in the research world, we often say athletes are ahead of where researchers and science actually are, and then researchers need to, research needs to catch up. That's kind of what's happened with chocolate milk. Athletes have been doing this for many, many years. Now, what about chocolate milk makes it so special? And I kind of mentioned this briefly, but let's look at it in a little bit more depth. Well, one, it has carbohydrates and protein. So as you can see here, the call-outs, uh, there's about three times the amount of carbohydrates as there is protein. And that's where the research seems to be headed in terms of what do we need, what do these athletes need. About three or four times the amount of carbohydrates as protein, and that's exactly what chocolate milk has in it. Um, it also has a variety. You can see nine different essential nutrients. Um, so the, the, the nutrients like calcium, potassium, and many others that are highlighted in this slide. Um, and certainly some, some electrolytes as well. Again, I touched on the importance of those when athletes are working hard, they're sweating, they need to replenish that sodium, the potassium, et cetera. Chocolate milk provides all of those in a very convenient package. So it helps you refuel, it helps you rehydrate. I mentioned the three to one mix of carbohydrates and protein, which is important. Here's a study just highlighting some of the, the work that's been done with chocolate milk. In this particular study, looked at male runners. They drank two cups or 16 ounces of chocolate milk after exercise, and that led to a greater concentration of glycogen in the muscles at both 30 and 60 minutes post-exercise compared to a carbohydrate-only sports drink, which certainly is popular among athletes, but that added amount of protein um, may help get that carbohydrate into the muscle to increase that concentration of glycogen, and that's what some of the research is pointing to. Um, and then the other piece to this, the second bullet, athletes who drank milk after exercise stayed hydrated longer than when they drank a sports drink alone. Again, that's really interesting when we look at this research that's been done with this. So it's not just athletes saying, yeah, I like chocolate milk, it tastes great, which is important, but now there's research to support that. It also can help performance. You know, when we look at performance, we look at a few different pieces. So here's another study um, with, see some of the, the bullets that I've highlighted down here. Um, cyclists cycled 51% longer in the time to exhaustion trial later that day. Swimmers shaved off two seconds, a little over two seconds per 200 yard swim and a half a second per 75 yard sprint in time trials later that same day. Now, just to kind of call that out, that may not seem like a lot, um, but as, as a swimmer myself and growing up as a competitive swimmer, that's a significant, that's the difference between first and second or even first and third. Um, so that makes a huge difference. Um, and then the third bullet, runners ran 23% longer in a follow-up run when they added that chocolate milk as a recovery beverage. And this is important. How does this translate to rugby? Well, if the athletes are performing maybe more than once in a day or they have a longer bout of exercise, they need to continue to perform at their peak, translating some of this um, and extrapolating some of this data to the athletes, maybe they can perform longer like the runners did or be faster like the swimmers were or perform longer like the cyclists. So there's certainly carryover from this, these data to how uh, rugby athletes are performing as well. And then looking at rebuilding, and this certainly speaks uh, volumes to the athletes, because um, we need to look at, and athletes are always interested in, in building muscle and rebuilding muscle. Well, here's a few other studies that I just called out here, just a, a sampling of some that are done. Male runners uh, who drank fat-free chocolate milk after exercise had enhanced skeletal muscle protein synthesis. And essentially that means being able to build muscle, being in a position to build muscle. Um, so it allows you to recover more quickly. Uh, athletic men and women who drank milk one hour after a leg resistance workout 
experienced a significant increase in two measured amino acids. Well, when we have an increase in amino acids, this is how protein research is done, that can lend itself to increasing protein synthesis, going back to the first bullet, and then increasing protein synthesis can then translate over time to building more muscle. And then lastly, athletes who recovered immediately with plain or chocolate milk had less exercise-induced muscle damage than those who, those who drank water or sports drink. Think how important this is. If athletes have less damage, they may feel better. They may not be as sore. They may be able to perform better and train harder so then that will carry over to when they actually get to their performance itself. So you can see there's certainly a lot of carryover here. Another piece of this puzzle is reshaping the body. I don't know anybody who's not interested in that. Well, here's a couple studies. One looked at uh, 32 healthy but untrained cyclists who recovered with chocolate milk. They gained more muscle and lost more fat. That's impressive right there during training. So three pound lean muscle advantage compared to athletes who recovered with a carbohydrate only drink. Um, so again, that's kind of like the holy grail. If I can gain muscle and lose fat simultaneously, that, that's magical. And again, the combination of the protein and the carbohydrates in the chocolate milk provided the ability to do that, of course, with training. Um, and then a 12 week training program right below this, they found that milk drinkers gained more muscle and lost more fat, very similar to the previous one, but then compared to those who refueled with a soy or carbohydrate-only beverage. And this one in particular is an important study um, because, again, the carbohydrate-only carbohydrate product certainly doesn't provide protein, but soy itself does have protein. So that shows that the quality of the protein in the milk is more effective than a soy-based beverage. So how can you get in the game? Well, you can look at a few different options here. Certainly recommend to your players or, or their parents to bring chocolate milk um, for a post-workout game or training or practice. Um, you can look at, you know, there's, a, there's an email there. You can contact um, the folks for a customizable note to, to use for parents. And a lot of athletes, high school athletes I've worked with have done this. Um, I've actually sent notes, letters home, with the athletes to bring home to their parents, just to educate, you know, what we've talked about, the importance of chocolate milk. And to be honest, a lot of parents in particular really appreciate this because their athletes, sons, daughters, may very well be interested in supplements. And this is kind of giving a nod to something that's out there, um, but has certainly a level of safety and trust, quality, that can give a, a major benefit to the athletes themselves without turning to supplements, because a lot of parents may have a concern about supplements themselves. Um, could be a few different options. You know, certainly follow uh, the Built, Built with Chocolate Milk campaign on, on the different social, me social media platforms where a lot of the research is posted and highlighted there regularly. Um, and then another piece to it is talk to your local dairy. You know, all states, um, there, there's dairy around everywhere, dairy farms and so on. A lot of the companies who I've worked with and athletes and coaches have talked to their local dairy to provide chocolate milk um, to their athletes. So certainly take advantage of that to make sure you take advantage of some of what I talked about today. So thank you all for, for taking the time to listen in. You'll receive an email with a link to an online survey about this, this short presentation and the information, and certainly your, your feedback is invaluable to us. So please share that, and I, I look forward to hearing some of that feedback from all of you. Thank you very much for your time, and. Please take this information to your athletes.